New X6 expanding again. Alex Anani is buying its second local landmark in as many weeks. The jewelry manufacturer announced today that it's purchasing Wilson's of Wickford. The 70-year-old clothing store came close to shutting down 10 months ago after narrowly avoiding foreclosure auction. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has more live in North Kingstown with the mobile newsroom. The owners of Wilson's tell me the business deal was a no-brainer, and they say they're excited for new next-door neighbors. Wilson's of Wickford has been a family-owned and operated clothing store since 1944, and now the decades-old Ocean State retailer is partnering with Alex and Ani, a new favorite in the Rhode Island business world. They've made a commitment to uh, the small business and the state that almost unprecedented. Uh, and I think we'll benefit from the traffic. Alex and Ani will be buying Wilson's property, and Wilson's will downsize from 9,500 square feet to 5,000 square feet to make room for Alex and Ani's newest business venture, Teas and Javas. It'll be great to have food next door to us. Um, I think the food is the key to any retail district today. Nearby shop owners like Donna Trottier agree and say Teas and Javas could lead to revitalization throughout Wickford Village. We do have a couple holes in the village, but and it was sad to see stores that had been here for 100 years plus go out. But I think this is a great chance for us and a great opportunity and it's exciting. The timeline for construction is still to be determined. This will be the third Tees in Java's location. The first is in Wayland Square in Providence. The second will be in Cranston. Reporting live in North Kingstown with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.